Hi everyone! Sorry it's been a bit since my last video. Like a lot of people, I felt the need to take a break and focus on my personal life, to rest and heal. I'm feeling better, so I'm back, but taking that time off has made me curious about something. I've been noticing more and more commercials and ads and general discourse online about self-care and self-care products, and something about it seemed kind of familiar. If you followed my blog, you might have seen, tucked way back in the archives, an article I wrote that was about a specific and growing genre of media coming out of Japan. This was the Iyashike genre. Iyashi meaning healing, and K meaning type. This category of media is defined by its abilities to intentionally heal its audience. These are media pieces dedicated to creating calm, inviting, soothing environments. If you're familiar with Japanese media, their games, and anime, you might already have a few examples come to mind. The most obvious one that has been everywhere right now would be Animal Crossing. I find myself coming back again and again to Animal Crossing in my videos. It isn't a surprise, since my videos are all about mental health, well-being, and media, and Animal Crossing has offered consistent emotional healing opportunities to its players in multiple ways. But Animal Crossing isn't alone. It's only one of dozens of Iyashike games, and there are dozens more Iyashike anime. Watching or playing something from the Iyashike genre might seem boring to some people, but for those of us who are either currently feeling worn down by life, or can remember a time when things seem to be falling apart, we can find great solace playing something as simple, sweet, stable, and uncomplicated as Neko Atsume, or watching a slice of life anime like Natsume Yujincho or Barakamon. Pokemon has also been recognized for its role in providing some emotional healing for Japan in the 90s, healing that has continued ever since. These media might seem like they're made only for children, they're so simple and free of significant conflict, but they're created for a much wider demographic and are enjoyed by nearly all age brackets. There's a reason Japan has started creating some of the most soothing media pieces in recent years. Japan had suffered an economic recession during the 90s, which is now known as Japan's lost decade, leading to widespread anxiety and stress. In reaction, Japan went through what's been called a healing boom. During this boom, they created a new category of products, advertised and marketed specifically for their emotionally or sometimes physically healing properties. This included a little of everything. From hair dryers that emitted healing negative ions to the healing comfort of wooden materials in the home, compilation CDs of calming music, and robotic therapy pets. This market for healing products has expanded greatly into healing services as well. Japan has been known for its acceptance that everyone needs healing touch or emotional intimacy, and Japan has been made fun of a little for how it's met those consumer needs with maid cafes, cat cafes, friends for hire, and even professional cuddlers. But can we honestly look at these products and services and not concede the fact that there is a need for more upfront honesty in other cultures about unmet needs for healing interactions? Although not every one of these services could find ground in my country, I do know that I would love to visit cat cafes for the comfort and joy of petting fluffy kittens. I also know that during my break from YouTube, I also found myself naturally looking for some Ayashke media to help soothe some of my stress. It would be wonderful if the genre was expanded by other cultures as well. In fact, looking at social media, recognizing the sudden burst of popularity for Animal Crossing and other self-care products or therapy apps, as well as healing media pieces, I wonder if we're just setting off on a new global healing boom. It's undeniable that the entire world has undergone the trauma of leaving behind an old, normal way of living. We are all mourning the past and all feeling at least a little bit anxious about what the future holds. Whether or not we ever return to a normal we recognize, we have all been changed, affected, and of course troubled by this global trauma. We are all in need of a little healing. We might not call it a healing boom, we could call it a self-care revolution or something else more catchy, but I wouldn't be surprised if we're in for a few decades of new Pokemons, new Animal Crossings, and new Natsume Yujinchos sprouting up from all over the world. In fact, I really hope we can see a growing global understanding that movies, shows, and video games aren't all rotting our brains, but can, in fact, help equip us with the healing thoughts and calm moods we need while we all embark on the difficult adventure ahead of making our new normal. Like Japan has, I hope we can also take this opportunity to recognize our need for healing and bring it with us into the new normal. 
not in an effort to commoditize self-care and promise happiness in exchange for money, but to create societies that understand and budget time, energy, and resources for its population's need for art and media that promote rest and recovery. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more videos about media, mental health, and well-being, please go ahead and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please go ahead and leave a comment. Until next time, happy playing.